Marconi. No internet connection. came in to go to Provincetown. Now I'm gonna go back out. Alright, we're back on six going west. As far as I know. We just hit east, which will take us back to Provincetown. Now we're heading back out heading towards Boston. Yeah I got a signal. I had to restart my phone. Um, yesterday. Alright, here we are. Alright, we're down on the beach again. And it is high tide. We're just walking the beach looking for odd stuff. I keep finding I keep finding these perfectly round, well it's not perfectly round, but it's pretty darn round flat rocks. And I'm gonna start calling them Marconi, Marconi coins. I find them very currently. I wish, I wish I could say they were silver silver coins that were covered with coral or uh, coral but anyway we're searching all right and i'm not seeing any seals out there at the moment but i know they're out there we did see i did see one down the other end there when we first got here and we're we're right around, we're right around high tide and it's, it's whipping. That's some serious, that's got some serious whip. 
riptides. That might do something. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> All right, I'm back searching again. Come to find out, I met a gentleman by the name of William, who could be considered a resident of the area. Seems as though he grew up in the he grew up here, and he had he happens to have tattoos and. of the the widow I thought I was I thought I was a fan but he's actually got tattoos and he let me take a couple of pictures so here you go thank you William for the conversation and the chat we had I thought I was I didn't think I was far enough down to find the, be in line with the Wida. He actually has the coord, coordinates of the Wida tattooed on his arm. <laughs> oh. And he's just hanging out right here on the beach. And what better, what better place to hang out as far as I'm concerned. So. Thanks again, William, for your conversation. He is also a graphics designer, and I will get his information and put it down in the description. And right now, because the movie writers are on strike, He's kind of out of work, and that's kind of why he's on the beach. All right, I found my rope. It's still here, and I'm taking it home. <laughs> Let me see if I unwound it. I unwound it and wind it back up. Okay, seems as I'm way further down than the Wida. The Wida actually is. I was looking for my rope and I was afraid it had decided to disappear. But I found it. I'm taking it home and this is going to be my. I'm putting a magnet on it and I'm going to be able to use it to drop it down on my targets. So this is my target rope. All right, I'm heading back. Ah. That was so cool, I ran into William. Because who knew? But he's come down here several times and saw them excavating out there. And I guess Barry Clifford himself doesn't really excavate anymore. It's been passed down to his son. Right. And William's just a chillin'. All right, I gotta say, no. William says their excavations have been about 300 feet, or three, about 300 yards from the stairs. And this is about 300, this is about 300 yards. And there's a seal I'm messing around out there. Oh yeah. They're bubbling around. Well, I'm about as close as I can get. My video. He's just bouncing around out there. But like I said, about 300 yards, it's about where we're at. I kept thinking we we're way on down the bottom. We're not. Fortunately, Patricia popped her, popped her knee out 
We had a wave come in and caught her. So I'm heading back. I've got my rope. <laughs> As you can see, I'm way down here. That's actually, I don't know why that goes around the tip. There's a tip there. But as you're coming across, I'm coming across, there's actually rope across the top of that, top of that hill. And I wonder why. See this the weeda or the widow there is no there's no way to tell where it actually is you'd have to watch and see from some of their videos where they might have been when they came when they've been searching you'd have to see it from either the water or see where where they're at but I have no idea and I don't know if that's something that they put there because when they're bringing stuff down from the shore side of it instead of bringing it from the land Thanks for the conversation, William. Please subscribe and communicate.